Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I hope you are all well, thank you for coming. If you're new here then my name is Amy. That was a different intro. Okay, so today's video, if you can't already tell by the title, we're talking about a furry sponge. Now I saw Nikki Tutorials use this sponge on her channel and I was literally just like, what? Like it looked so cool and she used to always use a beauty blender to apply a foundation and now I keep seeing her use this sponge so I was like I need to try that out and it is the Juno and Co makeup sponge. It's called a microfiber velvet sponge and honestly it is so cool. So it's like a furry sponge and it's got like one flat side, a flat bottom it feels so weird you have to excuse my nails but yeah so you know like almost when you like put your nail on it and it like makes you cringe a little bit but yeah so this is the sponge and it comes with like a little leaflet which I will read so it says to clean your sponge and it includes do's and don'ts and it says, while cleaning, run your sponge over under warm water and lather gently using soap. Squeeze until water runs clear. Don't vigorously rub or scrub product off the sponge. Use any textured brush cleaning contraptions. Oh my God. Because um, it says it will tear or leave it in water. So, And then it says to apply... Um, for dry products, so I'm guessing like for, um, like powders and stuff, um, it says dip your Juno into the desired amount of product and apply to face. The dry microfiber surface will act as the brush. I actually can't talk. The dry microfiber surface will act as brush hairs for evenly blended distribution. And then wet, which is what I will use it for, like liquid foundation and concealer. Um, it says, submerge your Juno underwater and squeeze out any excess liquid to begin. Apply a dime-sized amount of product on the back of your hand to prepare application. Do not apply product directly onto your Juno sponge as it will transfer too thick. Use a stippling motion, dab and stipple product on until you achieve your desired effect. So that's quite cool. Um, so yeah, let's give this little baby a go. I'm going to go and get it wet and I'll be back. So this is the size of it now and then I will show you the size once it's wet. Okay, so that's now the sponge wet and it has just like doubled in size like any normal beauty blender. This is just a dry beauty blender so you can see the size comparison. Obviously when that's wet that goes a lot bigger. It doesn't feel wet anymore. I almost don't want to use it. You know when you have a new sponge and you don't want to get it dirty. Um, but anyway, right, let's just give it a go. I don't know what. I might apply it with that flat bottom. Okay, so I'm going to take my Born This Way Too Faced, Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And I'm just going to apply this to my face. It breaks my heart that I'm back to my, like, paler winter foundations. Like, where has my tan gone? What has happened? Okay, and I'm just going to go straight in. So when it, you're applying it on your face, it does not feel wet at all. Like, the sponge does not feel damp at all. All you can feel is like the little hairs. I'm going to zoom you guys in. So the coverage it gives is really, really nice. I've got really, really, really bad breakouts at the moment. So I do want something that is going to give me a lot of coverage. And this is, I really like this. Although I do feel like it's like taken up more product, like I used one and a half pumps and I feel like that's not going around my face. I definitely feel like it could have, I don't know how it's showing up on camera, but like on my nose, it's not, um, it's not sticking to my nose. Like, weird. 
Okay, so that actually applied nicely overall. It didn't stick onto my nose, but I don't know if that's just because like my skin's been really bad at the moment. So I don't know if like the texture had changed or anything. My hair looks so dark. What the hell? Doesn't it look so dark? Like my roots. They look so dark on camera. It's so bizarre. It always makes me like think shit. I really need to go and get them done because whenever I film, they literally look so dark. I don't understand. So weird. Anyway, I'm going to go in with my concealer and see how it applies that. So I'm going to take my... Um, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Okay, so this time I'm going to take that flat side and I'm going to just dump in. It's really weird, this does not feel wet at all. It feels like completely dry. I just want to be really careful around my eyeliner. So literally ever since I wore eyeliner in that video that I filmed recently, I've literally worn it like nearly every single day i'm like obsessed with it i like forgot how much i like it okay so i do find it a little bit harder to squeeze it into my like inner corner god it just feels so weird it's so cool i feel like i knew i was gonna like it as soon as i saw nikki using it I just applied her makeup so nicely. Okay, so that is just like the weirdest sponge ever, but I love it. My makeup looks, it looks like completely flawless. Makeup literally looks like completely flawless. Like, I'm so impressed with the way that that is applied. It looks really nice. I do feel really pale though. Maybe I did go a bit too pale. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face and I'll be back to give you a verdict on how I found this cool little blue sponge. Okay, so we're back. Um, so I just obviously did my makeup as I usually would, however I did apply my powder with my other beauty blender and with my brush just because they did say that if you're going to use dry products use a dry sponge so I might have to order another one and see how it applies the powder because I absolutely love the way it applied the foundation, I think it went on so nicely, I don't know if it's because it's like the little like furry bristles kind of, I think you have to really like really like push it into your skin and the little like brushes like almost like I can't even explain it you need to you need to get it so you can like do that to yourself because like the little fur like when you rub it it like I don't know I just feel like when it pushes onto the skin it just disperses the foundation a lot more evenly like it with the beauty blender it doesn't have like little holes for the the product to just be absorbed into it's got the hairs that kind of like airbrush it onto your skin and I feel like with the powder I I would just really like to see how it applies the powder because it applied the liquid foundation so nicely so I would definitely be recommending this it's such a cool little thing like honestly I don't know if that's going to focus but I don't know if you can see the hairs on it but it's so it's so cool honestly it was just one of those things that i saw and i was like i need to try that so i thought i would just film it for you so yeah i actually prefer the way that that applies the foundation compared to my beauty blender like maybe i should have done one side and one side that probably would have been a good idea also i just want to say two things three things one Ignore the colour of my roots. I'm going to book in and get them done because this is just ridiculous. Like, they're not... It's not even that dark, but something to do with my lighting. It makes my white wool look grey. My roots look, like, brown when they're actually, like, light blonde. So, I don't know what's going on here. Second thing was... Oh, my God. What was the second thing? Oh, my God. I had three things. Okay, second thing, I think, is I actually do have eyelashes, like, 
I don't think you can see them very well because I did go a bit OTT with the wing liner but they're like I actually got my friend has just qualified in like classics so she just like wanted to practice on me they're really really cute and they're so natural but you you just can't really see them because they went a bit OTT with the wing liner um what was the last thing that I wanted to say oh that was it if the lighting was like really dodgy in the beginning of the video that's because I had like my setup a little bit different and then afterwards I changed it because it just went all weird and I felt like my face looked really pale and really dark and I don't know what was going on but I'm gonna I think I'm just gonna have to invest in some more lights and just really get my videos up to a better standard for you guys because I just want to I want to be putting out the best that I can be putting out so I will definitely do that but anyway, if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a massive thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. And I will see you all in my next one. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you all. Also, I do recommend Get the Sponge.